Richard Thomas Porter was born November 10, 1964, to Velma Porter in Harlem, New York City. Richard was the oldest of three children, including sister Patricia and brother Donald. The family lived in the historic Sugar Hill section located on the west side of Harlem. Rich, as he was more commonly known, earned income at the age of nine bagging groceries at a local supermarket and selling newspapers. At 12 years old he began selling marijuana joints for $1 each. Porter also routinely produced a substance containing nothing more than eggs and sage, that he marketed as illegal hash. He purchased his first car, a BMW, at the age of 16. Eventually, Porter began distributing powder cocaine that he branded with the name Much Better, from his base, on the corner of 145th Street and Amsterdam Avenue. He later partnered with another local drug dealer known as L.A., and the two relocated their operation to 144th Street. Porter's only criminal convictions were in 1984. Following a shootout, he was convicted of possession of a deadly weapon in April, and in November for possession of a controlled substance. After serving a one-year sentence and following the death of L.A., Porter formed a partnership with boyhood friend and coke dealer A.Z. Faison, and his associate Alpo Martinez. According to police, Porter sold upwards of $50,000 worth of crack cocaine a week, and 5 kilos a day at his peak, and owned approximately 40 cars throughout his criminal career. Following a robbery attempt in 1987 in which he was shot nine times, Faison retired from drug trafficking and left the partnership with Porter and Martinez. According to local residents, Porter and Martinez were the first owners of convertible BMWs in Harlem. Locals also credit the two with originating the trend of reclining far back in the seat while driving. The duo once purchased a pair of Porsche 944 turbos, a burgundy one for Porter and silver for Martinez, from a car dealership, with $75,000 cash in a paper bag. Beginning in his teens, Porter gained local fame in his native Harlem because of his flashy style and was known for owning custom-made designer clothing, gold jewelry and luxury cars outfitted with car phones. According to locals, Porter never wore the same outfit twice during his criminal career. He was also an acquaintance of rap superstar James Todd, LL Cool J, who referenced his association with Porter on his 2004 song, The Truth. Porter was targeted for extortion in 1989, when his younger brother Donald was abducted, while on his way to his school, on December 5. The kidnappers demanded $500,000 ransom for 12-year-old Donald's safe return by telephone. When Porter insisted that he didn't have the half million dollars, the kidnappers lowered the ransom to $350,000. On December 6, the abductors directed the family to a nearby McDonald's restaurant, located at West 125th Street and Broadway, where they found a coffee cup containing Donald's index finger, two of his rings and an audio cassette, in the men's bathroom. According to police, the cassette tape contained a recording of Donald pleading to his older brother Rich to pay the ransom. Porter's sister Pat, then contacted the FBI against Rich's wishes and was directed to the NYPD, who placed taps on the family's phone lines. On December 10, a local boy, delivered a note to the family's West 132nd Street apartment in Harlem, given to him by an unknown woman. The note said that Donald was badly in need of medical attention. Rich Porter was murdered a little less than a month later on January 3, 1990, in his native Harlem. He suffered several gunshots to the head and chest and was found in the bushes in Orchard Beach Park, with $2,239 in cash in his pockets. He was last seen driving his 1989 black Nissan Coupe. Alpo Martinez was later charged and convicted for the killing, and confessed to shooting Porter to death in Harlem, with an accomplice. They later carried the body to City Island in the Bronx, where it was found the next morning. Martinez told police that the murder was the result of a business dispute between the two. Martinez alleged that Porter had routinely overcharged him from $3,000 $5,000 per kilo of cocaine that he supplied him. Porter was buried by his family on January 10, 1990. Twelve days later, Porter's business associate Stanley Harvey was found shot to death on the fifth floor of an abandoned building, on West 132nd Street in Harlem. On January 28, Donald Porter's body was found in City Island less than a mile from where Rich's body was discovered. The corpse was found inside 14 black plastic garbage bags. His uncle, Velma Porter's brother, member of the Preacher crew, was eventually revealed to be Donald's kidnapper and killer.